Hi guys, look what I have made. It's basically the same pattern, but I have made uh, one kitty. And um, I will show you today how to make this kitty. It's got long tail. And uh, it uh, has two colors, so uh, gray and white. You can make, of course, one colored cat. It will be exactly the same pattern, but uh, with one color. I'm using today 6 mm crochet hook. You will need, of course, stitch marker and scissors. I've got safety eyes. Those are 12 mm. And I've got safety nose. Safety nose it's uh, also around um, 12 millimeters or maybe whatever you've got. This is the only nose I've got. I'm using baby yarn. This is plush yarn from Aldi. It is 100 gram, 95 meters. soft feeling for um, amigurumi toys as you see it's bought uh, in hobby craft or anything else just a fluff you can of course use your old pillow and we will start by making arms so I'm making a cross insert your hook in pick the yarn and with the working end you will make chain one and this is a Megurumi ring, a Megurumi circle or it's just a ball circle this is how you make it I will show you once again if you have not mastered it, it's the uh, best time to master it now so you hold the end right make a cross around cup, uh, two of your fingers hold it insert your hook inside pick the working yarn the long end and make chain one and this is it basically that's all about it then you're making single crochets inside this circle I'm making one, two, and three, four, five, six. pull the end and it will close that hole completely if you want to figure out where is your first stitch you count the stitches six back and you will have your first stitch to start the chain one does not count as a stitch at all it is just part of amigurumi ring and so in the first stitch I'm making one single crochet insert your stitch marker in the first stitch you have made just now and it will identify the beginning of your round next stitch I'm making one single crochet next stitch one single crochet next stitch one single crochet one single crochet in each stitch all around sometimes you can't see your stitches it is just um, you feel it you feel your stitches you may not see them but you will feel them it is just a matter of practice 
And there you are, you reached your stitch marker, so it means you completed the round. You turn it inside out because this is your right side. It looks prettier. I started with white color and then I will move to gray color. I'm making just one leg half white or one I'm half white half uh, gray. So I'm making one more round in white, six single crochets. five and six. You reached your stitch marker, it means you completed this round. I don't put any stuffing, any filling in the arms because um, um, I don't want it to stick out. This end will be just my stuffing and it will be enough. Take the stitch marker and reinsert it in the, the first stitch. Check your stitches. If you feel it between your thumb and um, uh, pointy finger, you will see, you will uh, feel some ridges. Right, I wanted to change the color at the end of this round and this is how you change the color. You change the color with the last stitch of this round. So. I'm making, picking the loop with white and then the last step of this stitch I'm making with gray. So I'm finishing my last uh, single crochet of this round in gray. And then I continue making this arm with gray color. If you are more experienced, you don't use uh, your stitch markers, you can just count six in one round. This is what I'm doing when I'm uh, not on camera. Of course, you need to concentrate a little bit more. But if you are at the beginning, you better use a stitch marker. And this is the end of the round. I don't need white anymore on this arm, so I just cut it and stuff it inside. It will be another part of filling. There you are. Four rounds I have made. And I need to have two more rounds in grey. six single crochets in this round and six single crochet the next round. Next round is the last round for the arm. If you want to make one color, you will make it in one color. My second arm I'm making in one color. And this is one arm. Once you made six round, you will make slip stitch, chain one, 
and cut the yarn. I left some yarn. I will use it when I am attaching this to the body. So one arm is uh, white and gray and another arm I am making in white or in gray, yeah, sorry. This is very soft, very pileable. Very nice yarn. I use it quite a lot for amigurumi. And this was step one. Now I will start making legs. I have made one leg in grey. And I will show you how to make another leg in white. So one will be white, one will be grey. Again, hold the working end. Twist around your fingers. And put your thumb on that cross. Insert your hook inside, pick the yarn, pull it out and make chain 1 with the working end. There you are. And that's it. If you do it a few times you will master it. It's nothing wrong with it, nothing, nothing difficult in it. Okay, and we are working in this magic loop or magic circle. We are making 8 single crochets. If you still don't want to use this magic circle or magic ring, you can make chain 2 and start working 8 single crochets into the first chain stitch. And use your first chain stitch instead of magic circle or magic ring. I know lots of people do that and they are very happy about it. But I like using magic circle because uh, when you pull the end you don't have any holes. It just looks neater. I like it. And you should have 8 stitches. Round 2, 1 single crochet in the first stitch, mark your first stitch of this round with stitch marker. One single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch and keep going. One single crochet in the stitch. You should have eight stitches. And this is the last stitch of the round. Eight single crochets. Again, you will turn it inside out. You need to make two more rounds. When you crochet um, this right side, it always goes inside, so don't forget to turn it the other way around because um, uh, it will look prettier. If you compare both sides, you will see what I mean. I know some people just don't put enough attention to it and uh, sometimes one part is uh, on the right side and the other part, maybe the other leg on the wrong side, you know, and it looks a little bit uh, messed up. But it doesn't matter. Really, it's all practice, 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 practice makes it perfect. And there you are. When you turn it around, you will see the difference. Right, so I need to make one more round in white.
four rounds. If I want to make the cat in grey, so I cut this white and finish this leg I'm making slip stitch just to minimize the step. And chain one. Chain one I'm making to secure the last stitch that it doesn't go undone. And this leg is done. If I decide to make this in grey, so I'm making chain one on a grey leg and insert your hook into the white leg. I'm connecting both legs. Here is a very tricky part. It doesn't matter which stitch you start with, but it's uh, I start with my first stitch. So you pick the grey yarn and make single crochet, grey single crochet on one leg, on white leg. And now I'm going around white leg, making one single crochet in each stitch. Here you can see the knot, so I've made the mistake, I've um, cut the yarn and then I reconnected it. So I'm making eight single crochets around white leg. And this is usually how we connect basically most of Amigurumi toys. Um, sometimes between legs you can find uh, two or three stitches, uh, sometimes one stitches. I've decided to make one stitch between legs today. You can watch this part again, this is a little bit tricky if you are a beginner. And you may count your stitches. So you need to make eight single crochets around the leg. Now on this chain you are making one single crochet and one more single crochet into the same stitch, into this chain one stitch. And now you should have find the last stitch and find your next stitch where you will start crocheting around this leg, around grey leg, you will make eight single crochets again. Eight single crochets you had on your leg, so it should stay eight. Well, ideally, this is uh, well, most of the of. Uh, people lose stitches or add additional stitches. Just count your stitches. And this is eight. And I will make two stitches on the other side of chain one. Between legs it was chain one. I've made two stitches on the other side and now on this side I want to make two single crochets again. And this is uh, the round completed. One, two, three, four and it was round five. You see five rounds on one leg, five rounds on the other leg. Grey looks slightly large, I don't know why, but it doesn't matter. And if you count stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six. seven, eight, nine, ten. So it is twenty stitches. And this will help you to identify your first stitches. Uh, you know sometimes when you finish this round and those two stitches will be quite crowded. So you better count your stitches once again 
and if you count it between your thumb and fingers y you see you feel it you may not see it very well but you will feel it you will see the ridges between the stitches and there you are it will be my first stitch it is uh, right underneath so it's quite hard to notice it but if I don't count it I would lose that stitch and so you are this is my first stitch of of this round I'm making 12 20 single crochets one single crochet in each stitch And this is round seven. Ah, uh, now round six. So six, seven, eight. Three more rounds. I will make twenty single crochets all the way around. I can stop the camera, you can pause video and finish those rounds. You just go around one single crochet in each stitch. And I will see you at the end of uh, round 8. Round one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is end of round eight. Round nine, one single crochet, mark your single crochet, first single crochet, second single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch. So I've made three single crochets. And now I will show you how to make decrease. Insert your hook in the front loop, insert your hook into the next stitch, so you are picking two loops. And you are making the same single crochet with those two loops. Now five single crochets. five let's make three more six seven eight and I will make decrease on this side of the body so it will be decrease on the side insert your hook inside the stitch insert your hook into the next stitch so you are picking two front loops pick the yarn and pull it through like that pick the yarn and pull it through so you have made one single crochet out of two here is uh, you have to be careful this is the stitch we've removed reduced so don't make the mistake making a single crochet in the same stitch you are going further and you should have left five stitches So if it was 20, two single crochets you reduced, so you should have 18 stitches left. Now round 10. The pattern will be one single crochet. And decrease 
I will show you decrease again. One single crochet in the next stitch and then decrease. Once you look at it a few times you will uh, you will see what uh, how it goes. One single crochet and decrease. And this is the pattern. One single crochet and decre decrease all the way till the end of the round. Decrease is basically instead of both loops of one single crochet, you are picking two loops from um, two different stitches. You are making one stitch out of two, that's basically the decrease. If you had 20 stitches, then you will have 18 stitches. Uh, by the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches. And be nearly halfway through. You finish with decrease and this is uh, how you know that you are on the right track. If you're not sure, you count the stitches again. Ten, eleven, and twelve. So twelve stitches so far. You can see the last decrease. With this plush yarn, it is quite hard to see. That's why we count a little bit more often than uh, usual yarn. All right, and next round, one single crochet. next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch so I have made two single crochets and then decrease <coughs> we are making uh, the neck area so the pattern will be one single crochet, one single crochet, and then decrease. The opening is getting smaller. If you want to insert some stuffing, maybe. There you are. You can pause the video. I didn't uh, stop it. Um, check either you've got um, the stuff and call the way through your uh, through the legs. Maybe you want to move it slightly, adjust it. It is quite pileable and soft. I like the shape uh, that chain one and then increase. It made uh, you know the legs uh, slightly a little bit apart from each other, and it looks lovely. And so let's finish the round. This is neck round. I have made two single crochet now. I'm making decrease. Again, two single crochets. One in each stitch. Right? And you should finish the round with decrease. You should have two last stitches left and you're making decrease. And this is the neck. Next we will start making in increases. So if now I've got nine stitches, I will make increase to make the stitches more stitches, right? 
for the head we will make start making increases so it will be already like a head part so I've made one single crochet this is one single crochet and increase increase I'm making two single crochets in one stitch one single crochet and one single crochet in the same stitch right have a look and then again I'm making one single crochet next stitch one single crochet next stitch two single crochet in one stitch the quality comes and goes I'm sorry next stitch one single crochet next stitch one single crochet next stitch and the last stitch of this round two single crochets and now you should have 12 stitches next round it will be even more increases I'm making two single crochets in each stitch so first stitch I have made one second single crochet in the same stitch next stitch two single crochets right into the same stitch two single crochets in the next stitch two single crochets in the next stitch I know maybe it looks confusing but once you watch this video a couple times you will think into it and it this is uh, believe me this is a better way instead of making separately body and the head you're making body and the head all together so first you you made legs connected legs then you are making the body you decrease the body to the neck and then you are making increases so finish the round two single crochets in each stitch and this is how it will looks you see you are like um, getting with the size of the head already I would attach arms straight away uh, like um, crochet together but it was around with decreases so I didn't really want to make it too complicated so now after increase you've got 24 stitches and now we will make four rounds with 24 stitches one single crochet in each stitch so four rounds it will be around 14 15 16 17 if you want one single crochet in each stitch and this is the size of the head and I will see you guys in my part 2 video and we will finish this together